The Illinois Campus Cluster is both a program and a technical resource that enables advanced research computing, data, and networking for researchers here on campus. So my name is Andre Schleifer. I'm a, a Blue Waters Assistant Professor in the, the Department of Material Science and Engineering here at the University. The Campus Cluster actually fulfills a very specific niche in some sense because it's a local machine as opposed to some of the national machines which means we have more direct access. Uh, we also purchase nodes in the campus cluster to which we have very direct access and we have local support people who help us if something doesn't work. And in terms of the scale of computation, the campus cluster is maybe on the smaller scale what we're using for my group, but it has an advantage in the sense that we can purchase, for instance, nodes that have a very large amount of memory, which is required for some of the calculations that we're doing. And so my group uses the campus cluster, for instance, to study optical properties of materials. And whenever we want to have quick access to the cluster, as opposed to waiting in a queue for a long time, the campus cluster is ideal. If you're a researcher that is looking to get access to advanced research, computing, data, or networking resources, and you don't want to run your own computing cluster, or even if you're just trying to get your computation off of your workstation in your office, then the Campus Cluster is a good program to get in touch with to see if we can uh, meet your needs uh, for computing and research. My name is Tim Warner. I work at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications and Technology Services at Illinois. Uh, I am the Director of Operations for the Illinois Campus Cluster Program. Uh, my name is Julian Kajin. I'm an assistant professor in the uh, Animal Biology Department. And uh, we mostly use a computational focus to study genomes. Uh, so we do a lot of uh, computation related to DNA and genome assembly. Mm -hmm. We've gone two directions with the cluster. Uh, and both have been really useful to us. The first is we have a custom node that we've installed in the cluster that uh, the staff helped us a ton in setting up, but it's a specialized node that's designed for genomes. And what that means from a computational point of view is we need tons and tons of memory uh, because these genomes are large and they have a lot of, um, they, a lot of computation that has to be done that can take weeks or even months. So uh, we have a special node that's has the right hardware characteristics and it's housed in the, in the campus cluster. So we basically run that node night and day, um, generating a lot of heat. Uh, the other thing we do is we've, um, through our school, the School of Integrated Biology, we purchased additional nodes that we've installed and we're sort of creating a centralized uh, computing uh, center for our graduate students. So anyone who has a lab in our school can buy into these set of nodes for very reasonable cost and then their students are able to use them. So we're trying to to stop a sort of old model of every lab buying their own computers, having to have someone who is knowledgeable enough to use those. Instead, we've centralized our resources to get this cluster where we have really good uh, system uh, admins, really good uh, techs who can help us accomplish what we need to do. So if you're a researcher who's trying to decide whether or not the campus cluster is a benefit to their research group or to their department, some things you might want to consider is the operations of a compute cluster environment and from the physical infrastructure all the way up through the software. One of the big advantages of the campus cluster program is that we have highly trained and professional staff from NCSA who operate the cluster and manage it and that is a cost that is paid for by the provost. So if you were in your own department or your own research group and you're considering building a computing resource, you would have to look for power, cooling, uh, racks, and other physical infrastructure, as well as find perhaps a grad student or someone who can uh, operate the environment from the software and applications perspective. With the Campus Cluster Program, all of that's paid for for you. The environment is run by NCSA staff who've been working on computing clusters for decades. Um, and you'll get, we think, a more stable and robust environment out of an investment in the campus cluster than you would out of building your own. Most researchers will first go to our website to get some information about the program in general. We have a lot of good resources on our website from training on how to use it, how to get access to it, how you might invest in it. But really, the best way to get information is to give us a call or send us an email. 
We're always looking to talk to researchers or departments about their research needs and how the Campus Cluster Program can help meet those objectives.